Hey everyone, Scott Davenport here. In this video, we're going to set up on one photo raw to print on a specific type of paper using a specific color profile. Now there's a couple of things we need to gather before we get started. We need to go get an ICC profile for our printer paper combination or make one ourselves. And we also need to gather some information about the paper stock to set our printer settings up properly. First, let's talk about getting an ICC profile. An ICC profile is a data file that really just helps to fine tune color representation for your printer and paper combination. And that's important to know. These are very specific to combinations of printers and papers. Now you may create your own ICC profile using a calibration device like the X-Rite i1 Studio. And I've put a video out on that to show how that works. And I'll put the link down below here. Or you can just get them from your uh, paper stock manufacturer and I'll show you how to do that here. I use Red River Paper for my printing and they have a wonderful library of ICC profiles. So I'm going to go up to support and color profiles and here just find my printer. You could use the uh, little pop-up dialogues here to work your way through it or you know it's not that an exhausted list so you can find your printer pretty quickly. Mine is the SureColor P800. And then here we see we've got the list of all the different papers and I can download an individual ICC profile for the papers that I use or I could download them all at one time. I tend to get the just the, the profiles that I need. And so uh, I'm printing on this particular paper quite often. I'll go ahead and click on that and just start the download. Once the profiles are downloaded to your computer, you have to put them somewhere so your applications can find them. On a Windows machine, it's pretty straightforward. You right click on the ICC profile and say install profile. On Macintosh, it's a little more involved. So we have to go into the finder and here is the profiles that I just downloaded. And there's an instruction sheet that comes with it. Red River is really nice about giving that. And here are the different profiles that are part of this paper set. So I've got gloss and I've got luster. I need to put that into library color sync profiles. And the only little trick for this is if you hold the option key down on the Mac and then click go, you'll see library show up. If you do not have the option key by default, you notice it's not there. If I press the option key, you'll see library show up. I release it, it goes away. So that's the only little trick to find that you know, little hidden library option. But then from there, it's a simple drag and drop. You take your files, you drag them over into the profile area. And then once you start up your applications, Lightroom, On1 and so forth, these color profiles will be recognized and available when you want to print. Another thing to check is any specific printer settings that your paper stock might need. There's the basics such as glossy versus matte versus luster, but there's also more detailed things like if it's a thicker paper, do you need to make any fine tune adjustments in the printer driver so that your printer will be able to accept that? Now with Red River Paper, every time you get a box of paper, they include you know a basic sheet that has all the details on what you need to set for your printer settings. They also have all of this online and I like the online versions because they also have you know diagrams and uh, screenshots of what you need to set up. So I'm gonna go into support again here from Red River Catalog and here printer setting recommendations. Now this one is based on the paper types and so we can pick a paper type. I started with this one here so I'll click on that and we can see here is all of the settings that we may need to worry about. So I'm looking at Epson, that's my printer, so I want to set the paper type to either glossy photo or premium glossy and choose best photo with this DPI. It's also avoiding turning on these settings and you know scrolling down to make sure there's nothing else. Now what's nice is they'll have sections on handling and then notice here it says after the print is complete. Now some other papers have sections for before the print is complete. I want to show you one of those. Let's take a look at this 96 pound Picos Gloss. This is a very heavy paper. And as I scroll down, I see the basic information about print quality and what type of paper to use. And important notes about the heavy paper, one sheet at a time. Information about what printers are recommended and which printers are not recommended for this paper. That's an important thing to know. As we get into before the print, we have detailed information on printer properties. And in particular, we're setting things like paper thickness. This is a thick stock, so you're fine tuning your printer settings to make sure that this paper is gonna work well with your printer, your printer's gonna behave nicely, and you're gonna get a good print. So checking out these types of resources before you go ahead and start printing, and sometimes in cases before you purchase the paper, making sure your printer is gonna be happy with it. Really good idea to do. 
there's three main things you want to set up here. The paper size, the particulars of the stock, the surface and any thickness settings, and finally color management. We're going to start by, of course, selecting your printer and then using print setup. This is going to bring up the printer dialog for your operating system, Mac or Windows. And here we'll choose the printer and we're going to take advantage of presets in a moment. Uh, I have a bunch set up already, but I want to show you how to create these. So first is you want to choose your paper size. Now I'm printing on an 8x10 piece of paper, so let's find 8x10. And I want to do borderless. Then in the color matching area, I have all of my ICC profiles available. Now there's two different ways to manage the color profile for your prints. I like to do it in the print dialog, uh, and I'll show you why in a moment. But this gives me access to everything, and I can save this as part of my preset. So here, I can select any of the profiles I have installed on my computer, as well as others that may not be my defaults, including profiles I've created myself with calibration devices. And down here are the ones that I downloaded earlier in this video. Since I have one I've created myself, I'm going to choose that. And also, we can move on to the print settings. This is where it will set the media types. This is like the surface of the paper. And we saw these other values in the details from Red River. And in the paper configuration is where we have information to set for the thickness and anything else that's specific to that stock. Once you have all of those things set, go up here and create a preset. And I can save current settings as a preset. Now, I have a bunch set up already. Generally, I like to work the name of the printer, the paper size that I've selected, and the paper type, so uh, including the weight, the weight of the paper. So many different papers, they come in different stocks, you know, like 60 pound, 80 pound, 96 pound. You want to work that into the name of the preset because those thickness settings may be different for each type of paper. So save those as a preset, give it some type of name. I'm going to cancel since I already have one. And I'll choose save. Now that reconfigures things here. You notice the software is smart enough to rotate this around, so I'm getting a nice full print. And then if I wanted to, I could change some of the settings, give this a border, you know, uh, anything like that, however I'd like to operate it. Now the last bit here, color management, printer profile. I'm leaving this set to printer managed color. Why? we already set up the ICC profile as part of the print settings, right? In the print setup, we did that. If I were to choose another profile here, an ICC profile here, like for example, I have my Polar Pearl Metallic EP800. If I go back into print setup, notice that under the color matching section, these are now grayed out. This is because on one is managing that profile. It's going to make sure that that profile gets used. Because I'm leveraging print presets, my printer setups here, uh, I, I like to do this color matching inside this dialog. It just lets me save things for the future. Also, I found that it's a little challenging to import a color profile for something you've created. You've got to know exactly where that lives on your machine and go find and navigate your way there. Uh, instead, I use the print setup. So once all of those things are configured, you're ready to print, you hit print, and you are off to the races. So to recap, first, download and install an ICC profile for your printer paper combination, or you can create one yourself using a calibration device. Second, gather information about your paper stock, the type of surface it has, recommended resolution, and especially thickness for those heavier paper stocks. And third, in on one, go to file print, use the print setup button, and fill in all of that information, including selecting your color calibration profile. Once you have all those things, go ahead and set up a print preset. So the next time you go in and print, everything will be set up and you'll more quickly get to printing your work. And that will wrap up this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you're going to have some fun printing. My name is Scott Davenport and thanks for watching.